and I saw this and I cried. <laughs> Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and today I'm going to be sharing with y'all my signed book collection. Okay, so this is actually a video that I never actually expected to make, mainly because I just recently started my signed book collection. For a while there, I didn't have any signed books. I didn't really care if I didn't have any, but the opportunity arose to have them signed or they were gifted to me signed or I won them signed. Acquired all these books, I wanna say in the past two years. There are exactly 20 books on this list, so let's get started. So I want to talk about my favorite book on this list. Um, that is Bring Me Their Hearts by Sarah Wolf. This is my favorite young adult fantasy book. And I kind of think that this, book put me in a young adult fantasy reading slump to be honest with you. I read this I believe back in September of last year. It is just amazing. You can actually kind of see, I don't know if you can, but there's still a little residue from the autographed copy sticker. If you don't know about this book, please get educated. I have a review for this book linked down below. There's a spoiler free part at the beginning if you want to um know about it. I saw this book in the store with this beautiful gold lettering and this wonderful art and it had an autograph sticker on it and I was like ooh that looks pretty I'm gonna buy it. Yeah it was a total cover buy uh and it ended up being probably one of my favorite books of all time and this is Sarah Wolf's signature here. I love that she did a little rose on there and it'd be like a dream of mine to actually meet her <laughs> and personalize a book but I cannot wait for the sequel to come out, I believe, in November. Okay, I'm just gonna go randomly. I'm gonna pick up the next book I see. Um, We're gonna do The Crowns of Crosswald by D.E. Knight. I actually have not read this book yet. This was my first ever advanced reader copy ever sent to me, and I still have not read it yet. Shame on me. This, I believe, is a middle grade fantasy book. That's all I know, probably involving fairies, since there's fairies on the cover. And I also believe actually it deals with a magic school environment. This is... D.E. Knight's signature, Magic Awaits. I'm very grateful for this book because it was my first ever arc sent to me. Next, we have Vasa in the Night by Sarah Porter. Um, this one's not actually like physically signed on the book. I think there's a book plate in here. Here's the book plate right there. But this was, I believe, one of the first Owl Crate books. I believe like the second book ever in their box, maybe. That's when I was like a hardcore subscriber to Owl Crate. I love Owl Crate still. I'm just a broke ass college student and can't afford Owl Crate anymore. <laughs> this was back when they didn't have authors signed physically in the books. They just had book plates. So I honestly don't know really anything about this book. I know it's a fairy tale retelling, but I've heard very mixed reviews, a bunch of negative reviews. So it's kind of put me off of it, but I'm still grateful to have this book signed nonetheless. Next is a book I won in my first ever giveaway. We have Upon a Time Short Stories by R.L. Stedman. I still have not read this yet. And again, shame on me. <laughs> this is some short stories of fairy tale retellings and hers says enjoy Rachel Stedman and there is a little flower she drew right there. Okay next book we have Again But Better by Christine Riccio. I have not actually met Christine Riccio. Freaking wish. I of course got this at Barnes & Noble already signed I believe on release day or very close to release day. There's Christine's signature right there. If you didn't know Christine is I think the most most subscribed to booktube channel on youtube correct me if i'm wrong but she's very popular and this is her debut novel all about a girl studying abroad i've never studied abroad so i don't know if i'll connect to this as much as other people i believe our main character like has trouble making friends and uh boy does that resonate to me <laughs> so i really want to read this one too next we have another favorite of mine we have the upside of unrequited by becky albertalli i have not actually met Becky Albertalli. I've only met maybe three of the authors that are on in this pile right here, so yeah. <laughs> and this was another one of those instances where I got an owl crate with a book plate in the book. Uh, this is one of my favorite books. It has fat wrap in it, has unrequited love in it. Love this book so much. I even have a full length discussion video and I believe a reading vlog that I did, my first ever reading vlog ever. I will link that down below if you're interested. It's in the middle somewhere. The vlog's like 20 minutes long and 15 minutes of it is me gushing about this book. So if you're interested, please look it up. Okay, next we have All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover. I have not met Colleen Hoover, <laughs> but um, she had this sale going on, I believe on her website. I think I got this book for $10 personally signed. So 
There, it says Avery XOXO, and then Colleen Hoover Signature. I love Colleen Hoover. If you can tell, I have almost every single one of her books right here. When I bought this, I originally had not read it, but I had been meaning to, so I was like, you know what? I don't have the book yet. Why don't I just get it signed? And this is one of my favorite books from her by far, one of my favorite books of the year. It's competing with another one from my favorite book of 2019. So I'm very, very, very happy to have this book in my collection. Next, we have two kind of unique ones. Um, first we have In Real Life by Joey Graceffa. <laughs> okay, hear me out. Okay, so in middle school, I loved, 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 loved Joey Graceffa. He's my favorite YouTuber, for sure. I grew up watching him. I've watched him since his like first videos. I loved Joey Graceffa. Nowadays, I don't really have time to watch people on YouTube other than booktubers besides Jenna Marbles and Julian Sulamina. <laughs> I haven't really kept up with him. Hello, so it's actually editing Avery right now. I'm editing this video right now. I just want to say, after this video, like, I remembered Joey Graceffa, so I went and looked Joey Graceffa up, and I have been non-stop watching his new content, so don't listen to anything that I've said, because I've been, like, eating up his videos now. His, um, his dog just gave birth to freaking seven puppies, and, like, I'm obsessed with them so much. So, uh, yeah, ignore what I said earlier. I'm, like, I'm watching to his videos, like, all the time now. I, I'm not gonna get rid of this book. Here it's signed right here. Um, I got this book because I actually got to meet Jerry Graceffa. I think I have a picture with him right here. <laughs> I forgot that I met him and another YouTuber for a book signing. So technically I've met five of these authors on this list. <laughs> Whoops. My local small bookstore, which is right behind my high school that I went to, this is where I've met all these authors, is at this really tiny bookshop in my town behind my high school and I love this bookstore so much. I get most of my books from this bookstore, so that's how I have met them. They're called Blue Willow Bookshop, if you didn't know, here in Houston, Texas. So if you're in Houston, Texas, I totally recommend going there. It's so cute and wonderful. But yeah, I got to meet him. I'm really grateful for the experience because it's kind of like the first author I ever met, you know what I mean? Well, no, actually I met the other YouTuber I'm about to talk about before, Jerry Graceffa. So technically my second author I've ever met. I'll continue. <laughs> that other YouTuber I was talking about was Connor Franta. This is work in progress. Um, I had to staple this big sheet of construction paper behind it because um, I think I like kept it in my backpack for school and I think like a chocolate granola bar melted in my backpack and got all over the back, which is a reader's and a book collector's worst nightmare. <laughs> Instead of having to look at it every time I picked up the book, I decided to staple a piece of construction paper to the back. So that's what that is. The back is not actually pink. But again, I have a picture with Connor Franta right here. Again, he is my first author, author that I ever met. There is his signature right there. I got to take a picture with him. We didn't get to like have them personally sign our books because there were so many people coming to the events for Joey and Connor. So I just got to take a picture with him and got a book on the way out. Okay, the next book that I picked up is Letters to the Lost by Bridget Kemmerer. I actually got to meet Bridget Kemmerer and I have two other books over here signed by her. I'll show you in a minute. This was another event at Blue Willow Bookshop with her and two other lovely ladies. I have their books here too. She signed it for Avery, Make Your Own Path, Bridget Kemmerer. I love this book so much. Juliet and Declan are amazing and I love the story so much. So I'm so, so, so happy that I have this book in my collection signed. So the next book that I got signed by Bridget Kemmerer is A Curse So Dark and Lonely. Again, at the event and she signed it for Avery, Break the Curse, Bridget Kemmerer. I love this book so much. It is very near and dear to my heart. So again, so happy to have this book in my collection. <laughs> and the third book signed by her was her new release, Call It What You Want. This one says, For Avery and a Little Heart, Bridget Kemmerer. Also, here's a picture of me with Bridget Kemmerer. I forgot to say, I took a picture with Bridget Kemmerer. There you go. <laughs> I love her. She was so, 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 so sweet. And um, I'm gonna print out this picture and have it framed for sure. <laughs> okay, so I wanted to stop this video for a second because I just gotta say, look at my glow up from this freshman year of high school, Avery, to junior year of college, Avery. Like, that glow up is real. <laughs> like 
I don't know what I was <laughs> Oh my god. Anyway, on to the rest of the video. <laughs> the other two authors that I met at that event were Elizabeth Yulberg, who wrote Past Perfect Life. And this is a young adult story about a girl who realizes that her sec social security number is fraudulent and she's not who she thinks she is and she's not who her father says she is and her father may not even be her father. Dun dun dun! So I heard Elizabeth talk about this book and read the first chapter to us and I just needed to have it in my hands and I want to get to it really soon. She just signed it for Avery Elizabeth Yulberg. And lastly, the last author that I got to meet at Blue Little Bookshop is Becky Wallace who wrote Stealing Home. This is a young adult contemporary book all about the daughter of the owner of a very popular or well-known baseball team and she ends up falling for their new recruit. She signed it to Avery, it's more than a game, Becky Wallace. Next book on my pile, we have My Plain Jane by the Lady Janies, Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows. This is an Owlcrate exclusive signed copy. This is the, I think, first time they ever got authors to actually sign the books inside the book. I think this is the first time they ever started doing that. Now every single book, I believe, is signed since this one. See, I already had my Plain Jane. This is this copy right here. I display this one because it matches this one so well. Like, nothing matches this green, y'all. I might put it out for Halloween. I already bought this, okay? I bought this already, release day, pre-ordered it, everything. I love this book a lot because I am a hardcore Jane Eyre fan. Jane Eyre is my favorite book, so I literally love anything related to Jane Eyre. I love to spoil myself for Owl Crate book boxes because I don't want to buy an owl crate that I'm not interested in the book at all because then I won't read it and it feels like my money is wasted. So I like to spoil myself and actually go in and research what book is in the box. And so I learned that this month, I forget which month it was, but I learned that this month was <laughs> My Plain Jane and that it would be personally signed by each and every author. And I needed to get that book box. <laughs> I didn't care if I already had a copy, y'all. I did not care. Here is their signatures. This signed first edition is printed exclusively for Owl Grades, and there are Cynthia Hinn, Brody Ashton, and Jodie Meadows. This book is just beautiful and I love it. I'm so, 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 so happy that I have this book. I think I might just like flip out the dust jackets, to be honest with you. I don't know why I haven't thought of that. Just just flip out these dust jackets because this one matches this one more. Why why haven't I thought of that? <laughs> Next is a book I have not read yet and I will probably be shamed <laughs> by many of you for not reading it. Never Night by Jake Kristoff. I have a signed first edition. <laughs> I haven't read it yet. <laughs> I believe I got this for Christmas back in 2016. So it's been a while. Here's his signature right there. I'm just real intimidated by this book. And whenever a book is real hyped and I haven't read it yet, or it's like not my most anticipated read of the year kind of thing, I won't read it because I'm so intimidated by it. So that's what happened with this book. I have no idea when I'm going to get to this book. I'm real excited because I know I'm gonna love it, but the, but, but the hype is, is intimidating y'all. So don't know when I'm gonna get to this. I'm gonna go at my own pace and figure it out as I go. Next we have Wolf Moon and New Moon by Lisa Kessler. These are the last books in the Moon series. If you have not been following my channel for the past year, I believe earlier in the year, at the beginning of the year, I discovered the Moon series by Lisa Kessler. The first book is called Moonlight. This is a trashy kind of romance series involving wolf shifters and even like, um, I think some even like panther shifters are in here too. It's been a while, I forget, but I fell in love with these books. They're kind of like the Ice Planet Barbarian series if you haven't read those yet. Those are sci-fi alien romance books. I'm trash for them. None of them are five stars, but I am hooked and obsessed with them. Same goes with these books. I freaking am addicted to them. I believe this is book seven and book eight. Um, book, this is the last book in the series. I contacted her on Twitter and told her how much I freaking love her books and she offered to sell two signed books to me. So I took her up on that offer. And this one says to Avery, welcome to the pack. Lisa Kessler, 2018. Oh, whoa, no, I guess I wore them in 2018 instead of 2019. 
it's been a hot second y'all i don't know what day it is i don't know what year it is <laughs> and then this one last book says to avery even the cold hearts can be redeemed with love lisa kessler 2018 I'm very, very, very grateful for these books because Lisa Kessler is amazing and she's like the first author that I've ever chatted with. So, real grateful for these books. Next we have Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. I believe my mom was just in the bookstore randomly one time and just bought it for me because she saw the name John Green and saw a signed copy sticker and then out of the blue for no apparent reason gave me this book and bought it for me. So, thanks mom. <laughs> Because she knew that I, I I was a total diehard fan for um, The Fault in Our Stars when it first came out. I read it over and over and over and over and over again for a whole year. That's the only book I would read for a year. I think it was seventh grade. I was so happy that she got me this book because it turns out to be amazing. I actually have a full length review of this book. I believe one of the first months I ever started my booktube channel, which is real, real cringy. <laughs> But I will link it down below nonetheless. I have not rewatched that in literally like maybe two years So I don't know if it's valid anymore. This has really really great like anxiety Rep in it. I deal with anxiety and she obviously our main character in this book deals with a couple more and different mental health disorders and we each are different in our own mental health, but she has anxiety. I have anxiety. I thought this was such a great representation of it and I really connected to her. So I'm so happy to have this book in my collection. Um, this one is blue. <laughs> and lastly, one of my favorite books that I have signed. We have Empire of Storms by Sarah J. Mass. Now this book, this is my fourth copy of Empire of Storms. Long story short, pre-ordered this stinker way before it's supposed to come out but it did not appear on my doorstep the day of release. This was back in when I was in high school, my senior year of high school before homecoming. And I immediately after school drove myself to my Barnes and Noble right as school let out, even had my sister come with me cause I was her driver back then cause she didn't have a car then. But basically I had to tug her along to the bookstore which my sister never goes to the bookstore with me ever because she knows I take hours in there, but I, I had to tell her, I'm just gonna grab one book and go, it's fine. Bought the book and um, came home. And when I came home, one of my uh, best friends asked me to homecoming with the book. So I ended up with two copies of the book. Also, don't you just love that? I love Wesley. He asked me to homecoming with my most anticipated release of the year. I love you. <laughs> I ended up with two copies and then my pre-order came to my doorstep a week after release day. So I ended up with three copies. <laughs> but in the end, I ended up keeping the copy that Wesley used to ask me to homecoming. That's the other one that's up there. And I ended up, I think, selling both of them to two of my friends so they could have a copy of their own. So I was down to one and then my wonderful friend, Alex. I love Alex a lot. I believe she gave me this book back in 2017 for Christmas. I opened my present. I just saw Empire of Storms and I was like, hmm, this is my fourth copy. Alex knows that I've already read this book. Why is she giving me this book? And then she's like, Avery, you need to open it. So I opened it and I saw this and I cried. <laughs> I love Alex so much. This is like one of the best gifts anyone's ever given to me and I'm eternally grateful and I'm so, so, so happy to have her as a friend and she knows me so stinking well. Anyways, there you have it. That is my signed book collection. I hope y'all enjoyed. What is your favorite book that you have signed and what is your favorite author signing story? If you've met any authors, I'd love, 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 love to know. But anyways, thank y'all so much for watching and I will see y'all soon with a new video. Bye.